Okay, so the first thing we need to do is install SQL Alchemy. SQL Alchemy is the, uh, it's an object relational mapper uh, that is used for Python. Uh, so we're going to come in here and we'll pip. We need to install two things. We need to pip install py py my, mysql, the Python mysql connector. And we need to pip install flask SQL alchemy. Okay, and after that's installed, we've uh, we've added a couple of new requirements. So we need to update our uh, requirements.txt. Uh, Very good. So after we've installed uh, pi mysql and flask underscore sql alchemy. Uh, we can come into app.py uh, and we'll need to import them in these two statements. Um, and then we're going to create a new file called secrets where we're going to store our database username and password. So we need to go ahead and import secrets as well. So then we'll come over here to the root and we'll right click, create a new file, call it secrets.py. And secrets.py just contains uh, the variables and then the strings associated with those variables. And those are going to be the variables that we use to get into the database. So the next thing that we'll do is we need to create a MySQL, Pi MySQL connector uh, to use with SQL Alchemy. Uh, so we'll create a connection variable. It's a string. It's a formatted string. Uh, and we'll pass in the user, the password, the host, and the database name. Uh, and doing it this way, our code will not be exposed. Um, I'm sorry, our, our credentials will not be exposed uh, in the code here. After we've done that, we'll need to come down and create um, the SQL Alchemy URI. Uh, so this is how we're going to connect to the database. We're going to connect to it with this con string that we created here. And then finally, we need to create a DB reference variable uh, and initialize the application. After we do those things, we need to create a class, uh, and that class name has to match our database uh, table name. And then we're going to include all of the fields that we need for the database. Uh, so ID, first name, and last name. And these are database columns, and then the variable types have to be accurate. Uh, and note that this is the primary key. And then I just created a representation here to get the information back out for testing purposes, and I just left it. After we do that, we can come down and in our add friend method, I'm sorry, our add friend function, uh, we'll have the form uh, reference variable for the friend form. Uh, it will create uh, the, the user can then fill that form out. Uh, and when it come, the information comes back, we're going to validate it. And if it's validated, we're going to create a friend reference variable from that class above here. Now that we have the reference variable, we need to pass in the details that it needs. It needs to know first name and last name. And we're going to get that from the form, the first name field, the data in the first name field. And after we do those things, it's time to save it to the database. So SQL Alchemy makes this very easy to do. We don't have to write a lot of SQL. So here's the database variable that we created up here to let us know we're using SQL Alchemy. Session, we're gonna add 
and we're going to pass the friend into add. And that's going to basically add this first name and last name details to the Colbert friends table. And after we add it, we need to commit it. Uh, so adding it just uh, just kind of stages it. Uh, we'll need to finally commit it. And when we commit it, it'll write the information to the database. Uh, and then for right now, it's just returning a message onto the screen. So let's see how this looks. We come into add friend and I can put in a name. And it looks like it's successfully committing it to the database. Um, we should probably be able to view these. So let's work on that now. So now we have all of our friends displaying in a list. Um, looks like we're missing the ID. We'll have to come back and figure that out. Uh, but here's, uh, here's how I accomplished that. Um, so the first thing I did was under the model, I had to edit this ID to be friend ID. Uh, so that it matched the database um, uh, column name. And then we come down under the index, um, and I created a new reference variable called all friends. And I set it equal to um, that model query all. So this is going to go to the database and bring back all of the, the uh, records in that model, uh, or for that model. Uh, and then store them as objects here with the all friends. And then to the index.html, I'm passing a variable called friends, and I'm putting into that all friends. So this is going to end up down here, uh, and we'll pass this to index.html. Inside of index.html, then, if we have friends, so this is this. So if there's something that gets returned, then I'm going to start building a table. And I'll have a table header, and I'm going to create the ID, first name, last name. And after the table header, for each row in those friends, uh, this might be my error right here, for each row in those friends uh, that are coming back, I'm going to create a new table row, and I'm going to set new table data inside of there. And the first one is going to be the ID, the second one is going to be the first name, and the third one will be the last name, and then I'll close up the end for. So this is a loop that it'll run through as long as there are friends. Then we'll close up the if block, and then finally we'll end block. And when I do those things, let's see if that change corrected. I didn't fix the problem, so we still have to look at that. Uh, but the data is coming back, and I can see it. So now if I add a new friend, and I can see it gets added. So one thing I'll do is stop displaying that on the screen, and let's do a redirect. Looks like I hadn't saved that change, so maybe that was the problem. Uh, so instead of doing this, Let's see if this works. Ah, uh, yes, that did. I hadn't saved my change. So the ID is coming back now. And if I oops, add a friend. It's not redirecting. Where is that find? I'll 
have to add redirect. Now let's try it again. and it's return redirect. Let's try it one more time. There we go. Now we have uh, that, that little bit of functionality like we expected. Um, let's add a link to add a friend real quick. Let's try this. Excellent. Okay, so we can read and we can add. Now we'll add, uh, add in some more details in other videos.